Hai ki çarayı ekmeğe. There is one other caller on the call. Hai ki çarayı. Yeah, hi Sam. Good morning. Good morning. Evening for you. Yeah. It's Friday, finally. <laughs> okay. We're ready. Yeah, I'm, I'll make you as organizer. What shall we do today? Uh, we'll, do, we'll do planning today. Planning. Is the second, still the second topic? Uh, well, no. Is the... No. Uh, oh, oh, this no, is the third topic. Third topic. No. Okay. Third topic is also the fourth topic. Okay. Net requirement calculation heuristic. This. Okay. So as we have seen, releasing focus to XMP. So this is the focus we have seen. So based on this uh, forecast, now we will try to generate a heuristic. Okay, so now we will go to the heuristic. This is the T code. So this is a heuristic run program so which you will uh, run the heuristic so that the orders will generate so i'm using the same planning book and data view data view should be the first one the it should not be at capacity data view it should be snp snp data view okay. and we are running for the entire planning horizon Planning horizon of this data view. Okay. What so it is existing till. Uh, sorry. Uh, I have one. This question. this planning book. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. The the first uh, data view. Uh, that's what we are working to. And the second data view, the uh, capacity leveling or capacity something like this. I cannot. Yeah. See. Is that uh, uh, in one moment we are going to work with that uh, data view? I think so. Yeah, the capacity data view is only for the resource purpose. And, uh, for resource. That purpose. data view will will uh, use for the capacity leveling. Okay. Okay. For, SN for normal planning run, we use uh, SNP planning book. Okay. Uh, sorry, SNP data view. Right. Okay, let's continue. Yeah. So, planning book, data view, and entire horizon we are running. And the combination we can, which combination we are running that we can give here, or you can save and run as a selection. We have this selection SM underscore test one. The same selection ID you can give here and run the heuristic. But now I will go with the manual selection. Here we have two options. One is location heuristic and network heuristic. I will tell you about the network heuristic. First we will go with the net location heuristic. Location means location by location will run. So once it is network, this location was grayed out. So only when you select location, location came. We'll see about the network heuristic later. 
this is the product and location yeah now run the program so here it is showing one product location we have chosen demand is 22 22 demand elements and 22 stock elements are created this is this element so we will see the same thing here now if I refresh See here, these are the receipts elements which was generated through the program. Heuristic. What is this one? Is double click on any order will show it is a purchase requisition. The category is AG. Excuse me, I I, I lost. Uh, uh, could, could you please uh, replay the game what you mentioned? Yeah. yeah how sure. we get? How we calculate this this distribution receipt? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will, I will explain you. Thanks. So these are the demand elements. Based on these demand elements, the receipts are receipts orders are generated. What are these receipts orders are? This is distribution receipts planned. Distribution receipts planned. So if you click on any order, double click on any order, it will show that it has generated a purchase requisition and the category is EG. So here if you see the source location and destination location, destination is the customer location, source is 1000. Means this purchase requisition is going to this source location. So that is a basic idea of the order but how it has generated is if you see for every order there is a receipt is there. 484 you have a demand, 484 receipts are there. But the, only in the beginning it is some 11,613 is there. Why it is so? Because, because based on the old demand. There is a old demand of 10,645 S 484 this together is 11,613 sorry to here here also all these three together 11,613 so why it has generated orders from this day onwards 24 onwards not on this 23 why so so here till now it has generated 4,000 uh, after that there is a only demand left over 484 so it has generated the same one but only for the beginning it has generated because there is a old demand is there but here in the start bucket it has not generated why because this order is going back to the source location it is requesting this thousand location that this much of de demand it requires. Okay. If I oh. open thousand location, same. Let's uh, see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but uh, in the yeah. in the previous screen. Okay, that, this is a perfect explanation, uh, but uh, my question is, what about the other uh, screen, the previous screen you showed me, when you were some settings for the heuristic? This one? This is supply network panel. Okay, in this transaction, you uh, select okay the scope of planning then uh, network 
uh, network heuristic and location heuristic. You select the location heuristic. And the other yeah. ch checkbox are ticket. Uh, but I don't know if this was this. The ticket. Uh, take into account phone component. Okay. And then add product. Uh, okay. What transaction? Add the products from superstition chains. This, this tick is only useful if you are maintaining a interchangeabilities. Okay. When you maintain interchangeabilities, once you tick this one, then only it will consider interchangeabilities. Otherwise, it will not consider. Okay, I, I know uh, that in APO, we have uh, sev several heuristic. Uh, technically, for us, that will be uh, yeah. function, function modules. Basically, the heuristic there yeah. are function modules. And, uh, These are the different heuristic here, network and location heuristic. Okay. Okay. This the, Here now we are using a location heuristic. Yes. That is only one heuristic, it's a fixed heuristic uh, by default or a standard heuristic. We don't need to yeah. uh, use an explicit uh, or other heuristic. Okay. Yeah, we'll see that one. Net location we have both are standard mm. but uh, the, the in some cases we use location heuristics in some cases we use network heuristic okay so how did you decide location, yeah how, how do we decide yeah so location heuristic will be used for location purpose like example only it will run for this location okay but if you choose a network heuristic then it will run for all locations where this product is connected. Okay. So it, it will not ask the location, it will just executes yeah. this product wherever it got connected. Okay. But when do we use? We use both are same. The results will come same. There is no difference. Okay. But in some cases, why uh, when we use locate? Okay. Okay. The the projects like a very big projects, uh, if it is a FMCG kind of projects, there will be a huge number of products will be there. Okay. Now. I so that time, the combinations are very high. Like a file, uh, maybe one one billion or a point five billion are there. Okay. Then that time you, f you cannot go with the network heuristic. Okay, because it's a huge. Huh? Yeah, if you choose a network heuristic that time to try to execute for 0.5 billion or 1 billion combinations at a time. Okay, in this so, yeah. Yeah, in this interaction, uh, for instance, if we uh, select network network heuristic, so yeah. then that will be round for a, a particular product. Or item. Yeah, we'll see. For, for we'll see. Once as, we as, as complete this flow, yeah. we'll run the network heuristic. Yeah, my question is, we yeah. have to maintain this product in all of this location. If we want to, one location is included yeah, in our, right. okay. Then we have uh, several location types, uh, customer uh, store locations, or um, uh, who can I say, the plants. Uh, vendors that how we we uh, uh, link how do you link this product you don't need to uh, respond now but I want to know how we have to link that uh, product to the that different location types mm. it depends on the chain uh, the, the network you have the SMP network okay like example here is the customer, mm -hmm. customer 70. Like example, we have directly linked to the production plant. Sometimes we link to the warehouse. Okay, then warehouse will link to the production plant. So in that case, like example, if it is linked like this, Customer to warehouse for first, then warehouse to the plant later. So, 
so when the customer you are running heuristic location heuristic first you will run here then requirement will flow here yeah when you run a heuristic at this location then again requirement will flow to the production plant and then when you run a here again location heuristic then the orders will generate here but instead of that when you directly run a network heuristic at a time heuristic will run here and requirement will flow here and heuristic will run again here and the requirement will flow here and then again heuristic will run here so an order will generate here so instead of three steps it will run in one step itself so concerning to the vendor vendor when do we use a vendor is like example if we are getting a product from outside Yeah. Like uh, if yeah. if we are uh, getting a semi finished goods from outside vendor. Okay. Then then we uh, create a vendor name and we'll assign this product. So whenever we request, we run any any uh, purchase request at this ship to party or a. may not be the shipping party that will be used mainly in the production plant where you will get the supply suppliers from the vendor and you will try to produce so what will happen here for for this is a finished product we are dealing what is 2320 so requirement flown to here and orders are generated here when orders are generated here for the 2320 product there is a dependent demand also there this 2320 is connected to 2321 2320 to 3221 so in that case if the this 2321 is supplying from the vendor then when you generate order it will try to go the uh, uh, orders will go here when the dependent demand this this product heuristic runs it will instead of generating a planned order or whatever it will generate a purchase requisitions again that it will request to the vendor yeah it's very true yeah that time purchase requisitions will generate again but the the uh, yeah, source location should, will be here vendor generally the finished product will not be assigned to the vendor only this semi finished or raw material will be assigned to the vendor that based on that orders will generate again now means it will generate purchase requisitions then vendor will supply that goods to plant location then it will try to produce this 2320 product okay okay let's continue maybe uh uh Later we can we can take this this topic because yeah. I think this more extent. Yeah. yeah, we can okay. we can take it up later. Okay, so this is the location heuristic we are running now. So if you see the now we'll see the order at thousand location. I'm sorry, Kishori. I'm sorry again. So please give me a chance. I want to see uh, first, and the first time you show me the planning, the planning book, uh, with the uh, initial value that we got the last session. Then you show me the screen to execute the heuristic. After that, you back to the planning yeah. book, and then uh, value uh, is uh, uh, displayed. in that planning book result to the heuristic execution so i would like to see uh you, sh you should be one transaction then uh just want to know what specific fields you you uh you uh, fill and how do you execute and then how this planning book for snap uh update these values can you show me the other transaction please uh the planning book transaction no the Plan the other transaction would you execute the uh, heuristic that transaction is okay yeah this one okay 
okay you enter this transaction and then you assign the plan okay can do that again uh, you yeah it? yeah sure thanks this is a pr uh, planning book data view okay. and yeah. here we have chosen a lo location heuristic okay first in, 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 the upper, in the upper part uh -huh. we, we have the planning planning book uh, which is the same planning book that we have in the other transaction that's the yeah. planning book and also we have the same. data view okay right. and then we right. have other uh, can I reach what it says SIP so and in that uh, frame in the other selection yeah, we'll okay which is the uh, version and the uh, product the product number 2320 right and then you assign a location and then we choose mm -hmm. uh, a, 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 a logistic uh, what heuristic location, uh, heuristic, location yeah. heuristic okay okay what happened if you execute it again Ah, which one? This one. Ah, uh, once again. I I mean, what happened if you execute this arrested again with the same data? Uh, ah, no problem. Okay. It will generate the same orders, but, but with the new order numbers. But you have to assign the location. Ah, uh, yeah. Here you have to give the location number. That's the location that we used. Yes, we just run this one only. Okay. Now, if I execute once again, so first before executing, let's see the orders. Okay. Now, if you see and the order number, okay. This 174618 is it. But if I execute now again, Again, new orders are generated. If I refresh, see, six one eight is the last number. Yeah, H hold on, please, uh, please hold on. Just uh, back to the other, uh, then w w we can come to the screen. But back to the other screen, please. Before here, this one. What is this? Uh, is kind of log of the or result of the execution. I cannot reach. Uh, uh, but, yes. Uh, okay. Everything is uh, in, this is in green. When, when it has run, okay. And when that program is completed, okay. how much time it has taken? Okay. And what are the number of combinations you have chosen? How many number is this? Is one number? We we have chosen only one number, and total demands are 22 elements. 22 and demand elements. Okay. And what we have in and the, it in has the okay, what we have in the in the section on the left of the screen. Under data yeah, transfer, same. yes, this one. This. Same. Okay, settings, input parameters. Okay. Here it will show all separately. It will give one by one. Here it was showing all together. It will show separately input parameters. What parameters you are given? So these are the parameters you are given. Customer, cost seventy. The product two three twenty. Version three fine, zero. Fine. Fine. Okay. And okay. Then this is okay. okay. And this and then okay. And this, this one statistics. Okay. This transaction is for heuristic to execute heuristic. Right. For a uh, network heuristic or location heuristic. Right. We have only this two. We don't have a, a product heuristic. Yes. We have only this one for the heuristic. Okay. Logistic, uh, logistic, sorry, location and uh, uh, network, yeah. network heuristic. Okay, yeah. okay. Now um, you will uh, explain to me something in the on the planning book. Yeah, yeah. Order is generated when we run a second time. A new order is generated. But the values will be same. Only the order number will change. The the uh, okay okay the uh, this order is a stock order, production order, or uh, vendor. Uh, 
Purchase requisition. Purchase requisition. Okay, this is regarding Bernard. Now, I have another question. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, the heuristic is executed for that product in that yeah. specific location. We have here yeah. several key figures. The yeah. the uh, main and the first key figures I understand, but why this key figure uh, distribution receipt planet was affected by the heuristic? It means my question is about this. If I want to uh, affect other uh, key figures, should I to execute or give a special parameters to affect uh, the other uh, distribution the map planet? Or okay, no, it's not about this. Uh, no, uh, whenever it is generating a purchase requisitions, it will come and sit here only. Why it will sit here? Is because because whenever it is generating a purchase requisitions, the category type will be as AG. Category type will be AG. So for this key figure, it was assigned a category AG. Yeah. So if you go into the planning area, if you go into the standard planning area, mm -hmm. key figures detail so if you see the distribution risk it's plan okay no problem uh, let's continue with the class uh, with the session uh, no. but uh, but uh, I do one to uh, to get a better understanding, and w which case every so here this is the receipts plan the key figure okay so it is assigned with the AG category so since the orders are generated with category AG the same orders are visible in this key figure so if you change this AD, AG category and if you assign to any other key figure. Maybe if you assign this here in the production plan at okay. register of E, if you assign the AG, then the same model will appear in this here. Okay, that key figure were uh, uh, populated by the heuristic execution. Okay, now, what if I want to uh, yeah. populate other key figures, uh, for example? Yeah, that, that is, uh, we will go, once we go into the detail now, we will run a next heuristic, then you will see okay. the other key figure values. Okay. 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 So, but it is, you have to remember that purchase, this is a standard, you cannot change, I am saying it is, you can change, if you change, but that is not the correct way. Okay. Because it is, the key figure naming convention will, will itself will show distribution receipts means it is for the purchase requisitions or a purchase order. Okay. So here, whenever you generate, it will come here only. Now, we look the same. Ah, uh, Kishori. Hello. Hello. Here. Uh, Kishori. Hello. So, yeah, yeah. Some some disturbance is there. I I I uh, I got noise in the in the communication. Uh, could could you repeat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, some noise was there. Yeah. What I'm saying is, uh, uh, when you, when we double click in this one, it is showing a purchase requisition, and the source location is thousand here. Means this require this demand is this receipt is requesting a thousand location for for sending this much of quantity four eighty four. Okay. So here in this example, how much 484 for that particular day? So if you see the same combination for the thousand location, same orders will appear in the demand for the customer location. The same orders as a are as a receipts 
means receipts means which are which they are going to get the stock okay demand means it's a demand they have to supply this much of quantities so here the supplying plant that is 1000 has to supply these many quantities to the customer 70 so that's why now it is showing as the same models is showing as a distribution demand plant here if you double click the same order will be shown with a different category called ed it's a smb vmi sales order means it is requesting from the customer sorry it request came from the customer that that they required these many quantities on these particular dates so now there is a demand for this product at 1000 location for this demand they need to generate orders if it is a production plant it will directly generate a production planned orders or if it is a warehouse location again it will generate a purchase requisitions means it will request a another supplying plant okay let me try to understand please um because yeah. the, uh the, i think the the communication is a, a little bit hard uh what i'm trying to understand is uh depends on what location we assign in the uh, heuristic execution that uh, the key figure will be populated here in the SNAP people uh, in the uh, planning book is that correct uh, one sec second your question please i mean uh, uh my initial question is how do i know what a uh, key figure will be populated after we execute the heuristic and my and my and my uh, uh, my conclusion is depends what location or what parameters we uh, use in the uh, right. in the heuristic and that would be the key figures that will be populated here in the SNAP planning book right okay now uh, you mentioned one uh, category which is like a, for example eg 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 now uh, in this case eg uh, is the power dependers it's for the uh, destination locations this okay means which they are going to get the stock and what kind so of is, uh, what class of example, location yeah this is the destination location so here purchase equations will generate here that is category ag so if it is a warehouse location again this is also is not a production plant so it has to get the stock from some other location so this also will become act as a destination location for plant so when you run this heuristic again the again it will generate a ag category here the same will flow to the production plant okay but in our example we have directly link to customer 72 supplying plant 1000 okay so this is not a destination plant so here when you generate orders it will not generate a purchase requisitions or any ag category when you say destination plant or destination is to where the product will be flow right product will come and come to this location it's like you are distributing the goods to the customers okay in this example you have in the excel this preset uh, uh which is the starting point of your planning the plan? yeah starting point this one customer the customer uh, uh, the cell which, which says cost uh, 70 yeah 70 yes this is starting point we execute the the okay the for for the first time the heuristic for the location right then 
we have to execute the heuristic for the water house? Whereas here we have not defined directly I have sent to the production plant. So now we need to run a heuristic at production plant. That is thousand. Okay. And we execute for production plan and then uh, our object that would be production orders and not uh, uh, purchase requisitions. Okay, sorry. Yes, when you run a heuristic at this location, thousand location, it will generate a Planned orders. Okay, planned orders. Yeah. Because it is a production plant. Yeah, planned orders. So it will generate orders. It mm -hmm. will try to generate orders which will go for the production. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you see the same, this the orders in the thousand location that is the production plant. This is coming as a demand, distribution demand. Means with the demand which they have to distribute. To the customer locations. For distributing this one, they need a stocks or a receipts elements. There is no receipts elements as of now because we have not run a heuristic planning it here. Now, if I execute heuristic again, the same parameters but only location I will change. Now I will run a heuristic at 1000 location. See here, these many orders are generated. Now if I see, there is a only Demands are there, no receipts elements for this product location combination. If I refresh, so it has generated receipts elements. Now it is sitting in the production planned key figure. Okay. If you double click on these orders, it will show as a SNP plan letter. Category is easy, EE. Are you getting my point here? Yeah, I'll sort of, or more or less, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit understanding. So just just uh, we'll 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 see uh, again and again. Then you will understand a little bit. It will first time it will give some confusion. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, so if I run the same because here we have a three three customer two customer locations. So we have run a heuristic at only this cust seventy. Now if I run at cust eighty because here also we have a demand of four cust. We need a receipts element for that one. So if I run a heuristic at cost 80, now it has generated orders. I'll go to the cost 80 refresh. So orders are generated same distribution receipts planned. If you double click on that one, so supplying location that is thousand. So 
thousand location that they require this much of quantity on this day. And next to is they requesting on for the one nine two thousand fourteen date. Quantity is for two thousand four thousand two hundred. So if you see the same in the thousand plant, very fresh. Now it is only this much of demand is there. If I refresh, the demand is increasing. Year two three twenty three thousand six one six year four thousand six forty eight year some seven thousand is there. If I double click on this demand, you can able to see two demands. One is coming from the cost seventy. Another demand is coming from cost eighty. The first one is 483, second one is 4,200 quantity. And the sale is the sum of these two ones. Ah, once again. The sale is the total of these two ones. Yeah. In the in the bucket, in the, if you see, it will show total together. This total together, it will show here. Okay. So here, if you see, you have a demand of this much, but uh, if you have executed this heuristic on this thousand plant, so if you see the demand is two three, but you have orders of twelve thousand and four hundred something here. Still, there is a deficit, shortage of supply shortage. You don't have a receipts. For the demand which came from the customer 80. To clarify that one again, you need to run a heuristic at thousand location again. Go back. If you run a heuristic at thousand location again. What type of location is the two thousand? Is a a plan or is a customer? Plant. Thousand is a plant. It's a plant. Okay. That's why it will generate a production plant orders. Now, if I ref refresh, here receipts elements also increased. So now there is no supply shortage. Now the demand is now the receipts are generated for the both the demand, customer seventy plus eighty together just run a receipts elements that okay. is a production plant yeah. orders. Are they getting? Yeah. On this. Yeah, more or less. Uh, so I think with a little bit of practice, so. Yeah, I think that we should stop here so that you uh, analyze again and and you will be comfortable for the next class. Otherwise, it will be a jam. <laughs> okay, shall we continue uh, on Monday with with this the same topic? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. So is. Basically, planning book data. Okay, key figures. Well, so in this particular, uh, so far we haven't seen nothing about the configuration, only execution. Well, yeah, some customization the uh, master record, and uh, um, so key figure. Conf this this we are using a standard configuration, so. So, yeah. As of now, not required. We are using the standard configuration. But we can see in the later classes once you get a comfortable and once you understand the basic concepts. Yeah, but uh, honestly, uh, yes, I would like to, but also for me, it's important to understand the, the execution the, of of the uh, and the, how to analyze this 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 information. So uh, maybe. Uh, right. Uh, Monday, we can continue with this same topic. I don't know. What do you think? Sure, we can continue on Monday. Monday evening, your time, right? Evening, my time. Yes, true. Yeah.
sure we'll continue the same time monday evening okay well okay let's okay. Just stop here thank you uh Vishay. yeah yeah right see you okay. have a nice weekend you too bye